And now, it's time for the Rooms to Go Sports Desk. Good evening, everybody. I'm Andy Pruitt, live at the North Charleston Coliseum, where the Stingrays are going to try and go up 3-0 in a Kelly Cup playoff series for the second straight series. They did it to Florida in the Eastern Division Finals. They're going to try and do it to Toledo tonight in Game 3 of the Eastern Conference Finals. Joining me now is South Carolina's head coach, Spencer Carberry. Coach, this is a spot everybody wants to be in, up 2-0 with Games 3 and 4, and if necessary, 5 on home ice. How do you keep your guys guarded against complacency? Well, I think the first two rounds have prepared us for that. Last round, we were up 3-0, and Florida won the next two games in our building. So I think uh, our experience from the first two rounds, and even against Reading in the first round, we dropped game six. We had an opportunity to close out the series in game six and ended up losing. Um, so hopefully we'll, we'll uh, use those experiences in the first two rounds to make sure that we're ready to go tonight and protect our home ice. Obviously, you guys are on a great postseason run. But there's a difference in how you guys are doing here versus on the road. Three and four record here at the North Charleston Coliseum, seven and one away. Can you kind of explain why that is? Yeah, I, I think the, the home is a little bit misleading. We lose two games, one in triple overtime against Florida, one in double overtime against Florida. Could have gone either way. Uh, but I do know this about our team on the road is um, we're, we're an extremely mentally tough team, and, and we don't get rattled when we go into um, different environments or face different scenarios. We. We're a team that believes that, that we can win no matter what the scenario, and you, and you sense that when we go on the road and play in hostile environments. Our team, whether we're up a goal, down two goals, we feel like we're going to find a way to come back and win a hockey game. That's, I think, the key to us playing on the road and having the success. All right, well, Coach, thanks a lot for your time tonight. Good luck, and hopefully we'll be talking to you about going up 3-0 in this series. Appreciate it. Thank you. All right, Coach Carberry of the South Carolina Stingrays. Now, weather is causing problems for the conference baseball tournaments here in town. Over at Riley Park for the Southern Conference Tournament, the Citadel is supposed to play Mercer at 5 o'clock. Well, now they're not going to play until at least 9 o'clock tomorrow morning. Depends on if they can get that Wofford-Furman game in. And then over at Patriots Point Stadium, CFC was supposed to, supposed to start its series at 3.30 tomorrow afternoon against the winner of Elon or Delaware. Well, that game's not even over yet. They're going to try and finish that up at Patriots Point Stadium. CFC hopefully, hopefully going to play around 5.30 tomorrow afternoon. Now, there's no rain in Durham for the ACC tournament, so Clemson was able to get in its opener against Florida State. Remember, the Tigers swept the Seminoles last week in Tallahassee. Clemson's Matthew Cranover put together a solid start today. The ACC Pitcher of the Year went seven solid innings, recorded eight Ks, but he ran into trouble in the bottom of the third. Two on, two out for D.J. Stewart. Sends one high and deep to left. Reed Roman can't make the catch. That's a two-run triple, part of a three-run inning for the Seminoles, and that was the difference. Clemson drops this one 3-1. to one. They need to win one of these next two games, probably next both of them, if they're going to have a shot and making the NCAA tournament. And one more conference baseball tournament score to mention before we go. Charleston Southern is eliminated from the Big South tournament as they fell to Campbell up in Boiling Springs 8-1. to one. That's it for Live 5 Sports at 6. We'll have much more coverage of the Stingrays coming up tonight at 11 o'clock.